What's going on everybody? The Germ here and welcome to Oaks, Pennsylvania. Too many games, 2024. Let's see if we can fill up this bag with some video games. Well, welcome to Too Many Games 2024. We are inside. Let's go game hunting. $45 to get in today. They ran out of those cool lanyards this year. Every year I've gotten one, I put it around one of the uh, frames I have in my house, signed by Charles Martinet that was here one year. Um, that is the voice of Mario. Not here this year, but I uh, was here last year and the year before, and I had him sign a poster, and uh, I have all my little lanyards around that. I don't get a lanyard, they ran out. But uh, we're not here for a later. Well, I kind of was. But let's go inside, let's go explore, let's go check out too many games. 2024. You know, I hate that this show is so far away. It takes me so long to get out of here. It took me three and a half hours to get out of here. I stopped at McDonald's, waited 10 minutes, got no help there for lunch. I had to stop somewhere else. They must be really short staffed in this area with uh, people to work because everywhere I went, go try to eat there's just long lines but a lot of vendors I'm super excited hopefully there's some games and merchandise to pick up here I, I'm on a mission I got a couple ideas of different things that I'm looking for I'm looking for two more of the uh, fantastic series Nintendo 64s I need the watermelon one and also the orange one um, some play it loud Game Boys would be awesome I would like to get a red one or a green one that'd be cool um, or even a clear one, that would be awesome. And then we'll look for some games as well. Here is our first vendor here. Let's see, a lot of boxed games. Stuff you don't see too often. Let's see if we can find anything cool. There we go. Earthworm Gym, how about that one? 150 bucks. Yeah, save cardboard, it's worth money. Here are some exceedingly hard to find Master System games. You never find the Sega Master System games anywhere anymore. You've got Miracle Warrior, R-Type. This one's really good, I have that one. Space Harrier 3D, I have that. I think I have that. Yeah, hard to find, only four Master System games. All right, here's something we don't see too often. We got Turbo Graphics game. Unfortunately, a lot of the sports games, just like most other systems, <laughs> not many people want them. But there's a few more down here. Let's see, we got, we got Fantasy Zone, Keith Courage, which is uh, was a packing game. I think everybody had that. King of the Casino, nothing, nothing great. So we'll keep looking around, see what else we can find. Oh, look at that. A couple more Master System games as well. We've got a nice handheld case over here with a Switch light. There is a Nomad. You guys remember when I found the Nomad at the uh, yard sale at Hyde Park <laughs> this year? 40 bucks, look at that, $300. And uh, Steve over at the Elephant oh Trunk God. had a uh, Terrific Express just like this one. Here you go, $600. No handhelds we're looking for. He's got a uh, green Game Boy Pocket. This is kind of what we're looking for, but it's, uh, it looks like they, they made some alterations of it. So we're looking for factory stuff. So far, I interacted with just one vendor. Very nice people. They have a store in Mechanicsville, New York. We're gonna go in here. I like this one because you can go inside, you can touch everything. Um, and they usually actually have some pretty good stuff in this one. Let's see what they got. Oh. Look at this, look at this. There's one of the two I need, $250. Two fit, oh my God, the other one's right next to it. These are the two I need, watermelon and the orange, 250. They have more than one, oh, this might be the Japanese, that's the Japanese version. Yeah, these bottom ones are the Japanese ones. Oh my God, they have it, somebody has it. The blue ones are my favorite, I gotta say. But look at that, there it is, all right. So 250, someone has it. See if you can find any cheaper. Yeah, this is cool. Look at this. These guys actually have stuff out where you can actually take a look at it. They trust you. That's awesome. Hopefully, nobody steals stuff. We know that does happen at these shows, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, it's cool for someone to trust you to do that. These are uh, for the Sega Master System. These are the cards. They actually took... Uh, I don't remember what they called them. They weren't Hue cards. Those were the TurboGrafx cards. Actually, here's a TurboGrafx card. And here's the ones for the Sega Master System. Very similar to each other, but very different. See the cards going a different way? They won't work, they're about, I never realized that, they're about the same size. Very interesting. But the Master System took both the cards or cartridges, which was really cool. Here's something awesome. Look in, look in your attic, check with your grandmother, see if she has one of these, these Vetrex systems. Look at this, I have two of these, $500. I'm gonna sell one. 
of mine. But uh, yeah, we don't need any of these because we have two of them already and we need to sell one. But we could use some games, but I don't need that one. I have that one already. Definitely not for someone in here that's claustrophobic for sure. <laughs> it's very packed in here. But they got the best merchandise I think. So, so far, oh, we only been to two vendors. Oh, boxed Game Boy games. You never see these in the wild. Ooh, 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 ooh. Micro Machines. Oh, it's so cool. I remember playing Micro Machines as a kid. I'm not going to tell my brother's <laughs> Micro Machines story again where he dropped the Micro Machines in my mom's car vent. Wow. That's awesome. Look at that. That's box. Minty box. I just remembered another game I'm looking for for the Game Boy. Uh, DuckTales 2. Not the first one, but the second one. They don't have it here. I'm actually <laughs> surprised that... <coughs> oh, you know what? There's a whole another. There's a whole another case of Game Boy games here. You know what? Let's look through these two. Let me know, guys, if you see anything awesome. Oh, there's Micro Machines loose. Ten dollars loose. See that box makes a big difference. I want to say it was twenty-five dollars with the box. Could be wrong. I don't see it. Oh no way! What? There it is. Ducktales two. Should we get it? All right, we're going to keep looking around. See, see where else we can find this. I would really love to have the box. Oh my god. Hey, what if you think of one booth that I was looking for? DuckTales 2, two N64s, Micro Machines. It's not on my list, but that was super cool. But I just got here. I was on my second booth. We got a lot more to look at, so we got to keep we got to keep digging. At a different booth now. Look at this. Do you guys remember my obsession with Chop Liquor? Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Apache helicopter in the front. I've never played this on the Super Nintendo. I don't know how to play it. I bought it here for what I buy for the Atari. I was surprised to see it for the Atari one year. And I bought a graded copy. It was just a good childhood memory game. I didn't play it on the Atari. I played it on the Sega Master System. But I love the game. And ever since, I've been looking for uh, Choplifter on different systems. There it is on the Super Nintendo. $95. I don't think you need it that bad. Right away, I see something here we don't have. The Pokemon Game Boy Color. I don't have this one. I'm not a Pokemon fan, but it is really cool. Look at that. Hopefully I find one of these in the wild one. The 80 bucks doesn't seem too bad. Here are some uh, WADA and CGC graded games. Look at this, hard driving. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five graded copies. Every one of them are 9.8, except for one of them is a 9.6. How do you get so many of those? Oh my god, there's another one. <laughs> How much? He said $200. $200 for... That's it? Yep. Look at that. $200 for a copy of Hardware. I don't know where you get so many of these sealed. But that's that's pretty cool. This very hard arcade game, by the way. If you ever see it, try playing. It's very, very difficult. Some more N64s. Look at this. Another orange one under the Wii. Put that up there. This one's $2.99, so we're going the wrong direction in price. This one's higher than the last one, but yeah, it's a good sign. That's the second one we spotted, so they're out there. They're out there, and it is a U.S. version. Okay. Right here is going to bring back a Toys R Us memory for me. These PlayStation TVs, I remember going to Toys R Us, very close to the end of Toys R Us. They always had these, this exact one with the Lego movie, and uh, it was exactly, exactly the same one. And they were cheap, they couldn't get rid of them. I never understood what it was. I know what it is now, but look at it, 250 bucks. It's just like the 32X, they were trying to give them away, and now they're worth money. All right, this is crazy, look at this, box 3 d games. I don't know if I bought this one or not. I think I did. I buy this one? Road Rash. Oh, God, do I have this? Do I have this? Do I own this? What do you think? He doesn't know. He hasn't been in my house. I don't remember if this is what I got. I got that. Did I get that or did I get... Was it Test Track? Ugh. <laughs> Alex had 50 on the uh, Road Rash 3DO game there. Um, he said, make me an offer. I said, oh, I don't know, man. I said, I'd be way off. There's no booklet. You're never going to find the booklet for that. I said, you know, I'm going to be way off. He go, go ahead. I said, 20 bucks. He's like, ah. <laughs> He's willing to do, he was willing to do 30. But uh, I'm going to pass for now just because I'm hopeful that I'll find one with a manual. 
So 3D old games are not easy to come by. I mean, you can always do eBay or something like that, but you know, you want to try not to do that. It's fun finding them in the wild, although I really wouldn't say going to a game show is in the wild. These are cool. I actually could say I've never seen one of these out in the wild. Look at this. DS kiosk. That's awesome. Fifteen hundred bucks. I don't even remember seeing this in the stores back in the day. Fifteen hundred bucks. These are awesome. I've been hoping to find one of these in the wild one day. I have not had the luck. But the uh, Happy Meal Mario Brothers three box. That is very cool. Anybody remember these back in the McDonald's back in the nineties? Look at this box Vetrix games. We saw the Vetrix earlier in the video. Pretty much have them all. There's only a few I'm looking for. You know what I love about coming to these shows is you see games that you had no idea that existed, like this one here, Toxic Crusaders. So if you ever see this for the Game Boy, look at that, $350 game. This is all their high-end games for the, looks like mostly Nintendo and Super Nintendo. There's a couple here, Chrono Trigger, Earthbound, those are some expensive ones, but no idea they made Toxic Crusaders for the Game Boy. So I'm so jealous of this. If anyone has one in my area, they want to sell these um, GameStop cases. My friend CJ has two of these. <laughs> I can't even get one. GameStop was just trying to get rid of these for the longest time. They throw them out and throw them in dumpsters. We just got rid of them. And uh, you see them at the shows all over the place. Everybody's got them. I can't find one. I can't find one, but I want one. If anyone has one for sale in the tri-state area, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, let me know. Cause this is something I want to get. <laughs> yeah, I've been seeing these all over the show. Look at this. This is the rarest Master System game. I will never have this one. Buster Douglas's Knockout Boxing. $1,500. $1,500. Anyone have a copy of that? This table has a, a nice stack of Master System games. Yeah. Enduro Racer. Like Excite Bike. I think this is way better. You guys let me know in the comments below if Enduro Racer was better or not than Psych Bike on the NES. I want to get this game eventually. Game Boy Binder Rear. Let's flip, do a quick flip through. See if there's anything good in here. Looks like a lot of games sold. There's still too many. There's still too many games there. A lot of, a lot of the common stuff. Yeah, it's crazy, right? I wish I could have showed you guys what I did for. Someone's doing a trade in all these Pokemon Game Boy games in the box, in the original boxes. He's got a Pikachu N64 box. I don't know if the 64 is in there or not. And a couple of Game Boy Color boxes. Unbelievable. He's looking at a trade in. I was like, oh, is this for sale? And I was asking the vendor. And he's like, no, I'm working on a trade in. I'm like, oh my god. I was like, I would love to just have the boxes. Uh, maybe we'll find him. Maybe he won't sell it. Another Vetrex. Today's Vetrex day, apparently. <laughs> How much is this one? This one with the box, $1,000, $995. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of money. We saw Toxic Crusaders on the Game Boy, which I had no idea existed, but I did know this existed. This is coming out eventually at some point. And unfortunately, the physical copy is going to be a limited run. But if you leave your email address, you can take one of each of these posters. I'm kind of interested in this poster right here. It's super cool. They're giving this away for free. All you got to do is give your email address. And look, that's the one that's missing the most of. All the rest have bigger piles. So I'll tell you guys right now, if you guys want to play a very difficult game, AVGN, Angry Video Game Nerd, 1 and 2 Deluxe. This game, I played on my Switch. I beat the first one, and I said the F word so many times. This game got me so frustrated, but it's, it's beatable. <laughs> Keep trying. I haven't beat a game in a long time. I beat version player one, part one. I didn't go into part two because I was just so frustrated from part one. I gotta pick that back up and put it back in. It's a super fun game. I enjoy 
enjoy a walk as much as the next hideously deformed canine. But something about the scenery today leaves a lot to be desired. Now, Chunk God, let's not be harsh. Toxic Crusade is an awesome game. It reminds me a lot of the beat em ups from the 90s, like the Simpsons and the Turtles. I cannot wait for it to come down. Super awesome looking game. Streets of Rage, all those games. Double Dragon. It's gonna be fun. Got some GameCube games. I know there's some lovers of the GameCube. Can't believe we made it this far. We're already down the second row. Have not purchased an item yet. It must be that my collection is getting really complete. <laughs> I'm not finding anything. I mean, there are games that I'm looking for. I just haven't found them or haven't found them at the price that I'm willing to pay yet. I'm sure we're gonna find something at some point, but not yet. I'm not the biggest uh, sealed collector, but I gotta say, this is pretty cool. A uh, GameCube WaveBird controller sealed in the ballistic pack. I would probably destroy this. These are super hard to find sealed, but the plastic, very easy and very brittle, very easy to break. Here's a game I would love to have box complete. RC Pro M2. I did buy this loose a few years ago. Still haven't gotten to play it. That's how many games are on my backlog. When everything goes digital, I'm gonna stop buying. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have games to play because we have so many. These guys always have a lot of box consoles. There is the second 3DO we've seen today. Different box, this is the FZ10, totally different box. I like the Gold Star one better, but I think this one uh, is known for reliability more. All right guys, this is John Spawnwave. I've been hoping to meet you for the longest time. I literally watch you every single morning. So if you guys want like informative um, uh, game information, check him out every single day. He, he has the best information. I really appreciate what's going on. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. You know, it's funny. I, I know, you know, I'm not that big of a YouTuber, but when people run into me once in a while, they're like, you know, they kind of get that little starstruck thing. I just got that with John. You know, it's cool to meet somebody that you've been watching every year for the last five or six years. Like literally every morning, I wake up and I watch his channel to go for my news for video games. And he's absolutely terrific. So go on there, Spawn Wave, great channel. He also has a, another channel, um, they do like the Spawn Cast, he does a repair channel. I'm not into all that stuff because I can't fix anything. I, I can barely change the batteries of the remote. I take something apart, it does not go back together. <laughs> but love John, thanks for being in the video, John, if you watch this. Looks like we found some more Game Boys. A lot of, looks like a couple reshells, but some cool stuff here. There's the Pokemon SP. We've seen a few of these today. I this is really cool. Games, it looks stupid. It looks stupid. But no play allowed. No play allowed. I ended up resorting to buying this off of eBay. Look at that. One lonely 3DO game right there. I ended up buying that on eBay. Unfortunately, uncomplete. So that was, uh, I remember watching In the Army now and at the very beginning they're playing this in the electronics store. Found more Master System games. Still not finding another copy of Endora Racer. Seen quite a few Master System games. It's hard to double check prices with other vendors because nobody's got the same games. I haven't been finding duplicates at all. Lots of boxed NES, Super Nintendo 64 games. Game Boy case here. It's funny, the vendors end up in the same places. It's like going to the carnivore or the fair, the rides end up in the same exact spot. Looks like nothing moved. <laughs> Except for you, you moved. <laughs> I love finding stuff like this. This is uh, Nintendo Power issue one. This is super cool. I'm not a Nintendo Power collector. You know, I had a Sega Master System as a kid, so I never got into the Nintendo Powers. I'd like to get a copy of this with DuckTales on it, but it's cool to see, I gotta admit. 1500 bucks, so if you see that out in the wild, buy it. This is another game on my list, OutRun 2006. Probably the only PlayStation 2 game that I'd be looking for. I want to play this one. I just, to be honest with you, I just kind of want to play it. There's a stack of Nintendo Powers here. Let's, we'll look through a couple of them. See if there's any chances of any DuckTales in here. Doubtful, but I don't know how many issues of Nintendo Power is. They made these, I was shocked, up, up until very recently, like up into the uh, 2000s. There's nothing there. 
We got another stack here. A lot of, a lot of duplicates. That's a weird one. Is that Mega Man? Never gotten into Mega Man. I gotta still play Mega Man games. I know. Metroid. I don't think so. No DuckTales. Some people are looking for So weird, I'm finding so many Game Boy Colors. <laughs> but none of the play allows. It's so strange. Found some more N64s. This is what I'm talking about. So this is the uh, Japanese 64s. The US versions don't have the dual colors like that. But nothing we're looking for. They do have the gold one. We do have this gold one. But it's cool to see. 300 bucks. I paid way less than that. That's why you gotta always look and hunt for game systems. And you definitely find some good deals out there. And I'm also not into the modded things. I, I'm not a big fan of the modding the game consoles. I like the original the way they were when they came out of the Nintendo factory. To show you guys a game I found one year. Oh, it's really cool. At a, uh, I only went to this one place one time. It was a Goodwill bin store. And I found a copy of Toomba. Loose. And they did it by the weight and it was 70 cents. Very rare that I sell a game, but I hate loose games. I sold it and got like a hundred bucks for it. Pretty cool. You always find some interesting things that you've never seen in the past at these game shows. I've never seen these little handhelds before. Look like little Game Boys for the keychain. Pretty interesting. Don't know if I would actually play this. At this point, I don't think anybody would open these either and put them on their keychain. Okay guys, finally picking something up. We're gonna get one of these uh, Nintendo tattoo packs. <laughs> They were asking five bucks a piece. First thing I bought, gave it to me for three bucks. What is the deal? Well, I found what I was looking for. Well, kind of. <laughs> Game Boy ports. There's the green for the Play It Loud. Only problem is only half of it. Only half of it. This one is just a shell. This is not, um, this looks like a three print. But the red, that's what I'm looking for, basically. There's also a black one that looks like this. Yeah, we're not looking for ports. We're looking for ones that we don't have to put together because if I buy something from ports, it will never go back together. Look at this, a 32X in the box, no price on it. That's cool to see, you don't see that too often. I heard right at the very end of this console, they were selling them at Toys R Us for five bucks. I never personally saw that, but could you imagine? Five dollars, ended up being super rare later on. Very hard to find. Spotted some Genesis games and right next to those Small selection of Master System. Basically, we're seeing the same games over and over. Choplift, Double Dragon's an awesome game. Um, Space Harrier, Zillion, Outrun. Outrun's probably one of the better games on the system, in my opinion. Of course, I like driving games. But no Enduro Racer. Oh, my friend CJ would be losing it right now in all these Pokemon games. We're keeping the rack now, right? I'm not a Pokemon fan, but... Oh, Look at that Game Boy oh, in the box and the pink justifier for Lethal Enforcers. That's the rare one. They're usually light blue. We literally have an hour left before the show ends. It's 4 o'clock. They close at 5. And I got that one pack of tattoos. I am dwelling on that after spending $45 to get in here. I'm not doing well. I'm not doing well. Some very cool box games. I feel like I paid more than $110 for RC Pro M2. Uh, <laughs> I paid too much. You guys remember last year I was looking for a copy of Pilot Wings in the box, up to $75 now. Oh my gosh. That's why I said I should have bought this last year. Next year's just gonna be even more. It's gonna, it gets worse and worse every year. They just go up. We're walking by this, I saw this crash uh, uh, strategy guide. I really need help with this game. <laughs> I used to be so good at Crash Bandicoot, I suck now. I'm playing this on the Switch. You know, I, I might be able to pick this up. Yeah, this is the one I got, I believe. I believe this is the one I'm playing through. Let's see if he has any room on it. He's asking 10 bucks. I'm not usually one for guides, but I'm kind of struggling on Crash. There was one level I actually went on YouTube and I had to go check out how to, how to get past it. It was like a bridge, and the bridge had like everything from ice to loose planks. And it was driving me nuts. And I finally beat it, but I had to cheat a little bit. So you know what? I'm getting the cheaters guide. And I'm only gonna use it if I need it. But I'm getting it. Some very cool marquees here. 
Look at that beautiful Simpsons one right there. I'm gonna wait, because I'm gonna wait to get the actual arcade game. It'll happen one day. Okay, Double Dragon, Punch Out, I got Punch Out. Any good ones here, you guys? You guys let me know. The Neo Geo one there. Girl at the last booth uh, when I was over there picked up a Wii U, 150 bucks. She negotiated for 140. Man, I actually like the Wii U. I like the Wii U. It just never took off. It was probably besides the Virtual Boy, one of Nintendo's bust systems did not do very well. But there are some good games on it. DuckTales Remastered is definitely my favorite. As I came around the corner, I finally spotted one. There's the. That's one of the ones that we're looking for. This right here, this is the uh, Play It Loud series. There's a black one. First Game Boy Play It Loud we've seen at the show. It's incredible. First one, there's none of other ones here, unless I got picked up yesterday. He was asking $100 for the uh, Game Boy. I didn't even ask, to be honest. It was 100 bucks. it looked a little rough, rougher than I wanted. Um, so I'll just keep my eyes open for another one at some other point. Road Rash 2. Genesis, here's uh, our Master System games. Nothing we're looking for. So here's something I debated whether I'm buying uh, for a very long time. Um, one of the reasons why is, this is a disc resurfacer, by the way, if you don't know what this is. And the reason why I debated so long to buy one of these is as much as I want one, they basically, they're very expensive. They do cost almost as much of a, as probably a washer machine or refrigerator. Um, but eventually, this is something that I'm gonna need if I ever decide to open a game store or get a little bit more seriousness, because you constantly buy discs with scratches on. This makes them look like brand new and work, makes them work like they're brand new as well. I was just talking to Pat, the NES punk back there. We are talking about games. You know, I've seen him at so many shows. I bought his NES book, I bought his Super Nintendo book, and 64 books coming out. We don't know when, <laughs> but it's coming out. And then he, he told me, I don't know if I'm saying this or not, but he's gonna redo the uh, NES book. So that's kind of cool to see that come back out. So yeah, interesting. Box NES action. So I actually just picked up one of these the other day, box just like that one. Minty box, I picked up one for $100. So I think I did pretty good. I got one that's in a, a very dilapidated state as well. I think I'm gonna be selling that one soon because you don't need two of them. And we got some games here. I'm gonna keep looking. I only got a few more minutes left before the show closes down, and I'm not having much luck, as I said, here finding what I'm looking for. But it might come down to the end. Look at this stack of turbo games. Turbo Graphics 16. Bloody Wolf. I think that's a good one. I don't remember these games too well. Final Lap Twin. I remember I had I actually had this one. This is one of the games that we had. I think I, I have this again. Oh, I got more back here. Bonk. $95 games. Oh my god. Boxy Boy. Interesting. Now, what sucks about these is these are considered incomplete. You can't, there's nothing on the back of them. It kind of sucks. Like most games with disc cases like this, these have nothing in the back, so you got to kind of look them up. Magical Dinosaur Tour. I can't say I've heard of that one. Keith Courage. Pretty common. Yeah. Never heard of that one though. Now I'm not a card guy. I don't typically look at cards, but these are very nostalgic to me. The uh, garbage bill kids. I remember buying these when I lived in Florida off the ice cream truck. Look at that. Adam Bomb. $250. These are cool. These are way better than Pokemon cards. I'm sorry guys. This was the OG. Loved these things as a kid. Yes, there's a uh, cleanup on aisle eight. <laughs> I, I, I have a feeling it might be raining now. I have that feeling. And that part's really, really far away. Okay, so we had to go around the uh, cleanup here. I don't know what happened. This is a big mess. Hopefully they didn't ruin anybody's merchandise. But yeah, that is a lot of water. Don't know where that came from. Surprised to see Limited run here at the show. See what they got. Let's see what their offerings are here at the show. Oh, Jurassic Park. We already picked that up. And what do we got for the Switch? Uh, still, we got Alien Isolation, Night in the Woods. I said that Jurassic yeah, Park. Got I that sold right. out of the rest of my Switch. Then. Wow. Night in the Woods. 
to say, day three, end of the day, only got limited stuff left. Yeah, yeah. You guys making deals or is everything at retail? Uh, I mean, everything's retail, yeah. Everything's retail. We have contracts, man. I'm a little loud over here with the uh, vacuum and trying to do the cleaning, but I talked to Limited Run, I actually talked to Eleanor. I gotta say, everybody that I've talked to has been super awesome over there um, in person. The problem is online, you know, and she was very nice. I explained to my problem. I'm like, I don't want to be the dead horse, so I'm not gonna go around and around, but she's like, gave me her email and said, hey, listen, if I can help you resolve your problems with Limited Run, email me. So, again, super nice. They didn't have many games over there. End of the convention, they pretty much uh, sold out of almost uh, everything they had and everything that they had that I was interested in here, I've already got. So, convention's coming to an end. I'm getting towards the end. I'm debating whether or not when I go past um, to get that uh, N64 or DuckTales 2, I might pick it up because I really haven't picked anything up. I haven't really spent anything. So, I don't know. Or, I could put my money back in the bank. It's funny, as we're coming to an end, look at this. There it is, right there, there's another copy. Let's see how much it is. Okay, we're gonna ask. Well, guys, we made a deal. There you go. It's asking 30, took 25, and look at that. Right at the end of the day, save the day, we have DuckTales 2. Awesome, can't wait to play it. Another one of these awesome GameStop cases. Somebody's selling one of these. <laughs> I could use one for my uh, Game Boys. Yeah, we're not doing too good on the Game Boys here. Not finding anything, but we did find DuckTales too. Way to keep you guys in this suspense. Oh, what a tease, more Game Boys, but Game Boy Colors. Oh my God, they're killing me. Got the uh, DMG, you got uh, some Game Boy Pockets. You got a Game Boy Color see-through, a green one pocket. Yeah, still nothing. Nothing that helps me. This is the game that I was recommending to um, I ran into a girl that bought a Wii U. I said, get DuckTales Remastered. This is a terrific game. I mean, I love DuckTales, listen, so maybe I'm a little biased, but I love this game. I wouldn't buy this one to play because it's sealed, but uh, yeah, maybe buy uh, open copy because, you know, sealed collectors, we don't, we, you know, when you buy something like this, you don't want to buy it to open it, you know? So buy a loose copy or an open copy, but fun game. I really wish that they would come out with DuckTales and DuckTales 2 on the Switch. I know it's so unlikely now at this point. You know, it was on the Wii U, why not come out with it on the Switch? I, you know, even, I'll be honest, even if Limited Run did it, I'd probably, I'd probably dip on it. I'd probably buy it. But nobody's doing it, and we're coming to the end of the Switch. It's gotta be within the next 12 months. I can't, you know, they'll probably make games for a few more years, but it's gotta be coming close to the end. Funny, I never got hustled here. I almost just got hustled by, I felt like a carny. <laughs> I was gonna buy a, uh, he had a, I, I noticed on the corner, the Play Lab Game Boys came in these little plastic cases. He had an OG DMG uh, Game Boy in, the, in one. And I said, hey, would you just sell the case? And he said, yeah. I said, how much? He said, $50. $50 for just a plastic case. Not a box, plastic case. So I said, no, I think, I think I'm good. You know, and then I started walking away, and he's like, he goes, yeah, I can sell them all day for 50. I was like, all right. And I just started walking away. He's like, you know what, bud? I'll do it for 30. Dude, it's a plastic case. No contents in it. 30 bucks. No thank you. I'm good. And he felt like he was insulted, and I was nice about it. People are funny, man. People really are something. I don't, I don't know. All right, so I wanted to show you guys something super cool. This is Mindstorm, but what makes this such a rare cartridge is this is built into the system, so I don't know how rare these are. Do you know how rare this is? Like super rare? Like super rare, like made by from super rare games? Probably like 10 of them? 10 of them probably exist. $4,500, more than a $4,500 game. These guys are awesome. Just press play. Very nice to let me uh, check this out. Probably 10 of these, that's insane. So cool. All right, well, let's come to an end. Too many games, 2024 is over. I did not do well here today. I got one game, a pack of cards, and a guidebook. So uh, yeah, the trip was probably not worth it, but you don't know if you don't come. The plus side is I got to meet Spawn Wave, John, which was awesome. And uh, I got to see Pat the NES Punk again. Uh, but he was they're both very nice guys. It was nice to see both of them. And uh, I don't know, will we come back next year? I don't know. You know what, I think I'm doing better hunting on my own at uh, yard sales, flea markets, and things like that. Um, Facebook Marketplace, but yeah, it's just fun to come for the experience. 
I think on a Friday or Saturday it's better. So if you guys come here, Friday and Saturday is better for variety. Um, people being here, things going on. And then Sunday is usually where you get your deals, but most of the good stuff is gone. So it depends on what you're looking for. So until next time, guys, I am the Germ. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.